everybody. So here's another one of our radial balance type of designs. And so this whole entire paper doesn't really have radial balance as an entire artwork, but each one of these little uh, circles kind of gives that radial balance circular kind of effect. And this is a pretty fun and relaxing kind of artwork to do as well. This particular one was done by one of my students a few years ago, and this is on black paper with oil pastel. So if you happen to have those materials, that gives a really nice effect, but this will work on any type of paper with a lot of different materials. And so I'm going to put this one aside for a moment. I just have a piece of white copy paper here, and I have some crayons to show you for this. Um, so what I'm going to do to start, I'm going to start with three little dots, and you can do any number of dots that you would like. If you want to do just one in the center and let your design really grow from the center, or if you want to do a whole lot of dots, you can do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put one a little bit closer just so you can see what, hap what can happen when two touch each other. So I'm going to choose a color and I am, I'm kind of doing a zigzag here. I have this scrap here. So I'm kind of doing a zigzag line but I'm doing it really close together up and down like this. That's the only type of line I'm doing in this whole uh, project. So I am doing that and I'm gonna go around. Sometimes it's hard to go side to side with your hand so you can uh, turn the paper as you go. Let's see, I should be going this direction. That would feel more natural, I think. I just turned it a little bit. And see how that got a little bit longer? No worries, it doesn't have to be perfect. Some people have a really tight style with this, very short lines. Some people have a very long, uh, more feathery style, and they all come out really beautifully. And I'm gonna use the same colors. I'm gonna try not to turn my paper just to save us a little bit of time. But that I usually do. That makes it a little bit easier so that I don't end up. And I'm gonna show you on, and I'm gonna actually ignore these two and just work with here. And you can see what, will happen a little bit more quickly. So let's say that I'm doing my lines, pardon my shadows here, my lighting isn't great. And let's say I end up going like this. And I think, oh no, I've messed that up. No worries, I can just kind of go on top and disguise that. So I'm gonna go back and just kind of go over top of that. And it's okay if it's a little bit bigger than the last line I did, no worries. That's gonna work just fine. So let's do this one. And I think I will spin my paper a bit for this. My little tripod's getting in the way here. So these are getting close to touching. And when that happens, you have some decisions to make. Let's see, I'm gonna go with that blue again. So, and I am gonna just try to make this work without spinning. I think that's going to work easier in my situation, even though you can see I'm having a little trouble making it go that direction. So this is getting pretty close. It's touching this, this one right here. They're connecting. So when this happens, I could just go around here and these could kind of remain separate. What a lot of people do is they just kind of then start going around those two as a unit. So let's see. And again, I'm really kind of being speedy here, which I never recommend being super speedy. You wanna take your time, but just so you don't have to watch this video super long. And if I wanna make a pattern, that might be nice. Since I did my blue again, let's go ahead and do that. After my blue came that red color. And so now what I could do is just start going around and I'm, see this one would kind of go around this way and it becomes kind of a figure eight. We'll finish that shape. And then I'm gonna pull that other one out and point out a couple things. But this is one of those kind of easy artworks that ends up making something really pretty, I think. With, 
And sometimes that's fun, just to do something kind of simple that ends up looking really pretty. Sometimes we do really tricky art that challenges us a lot to grow as an artist. And sometimes we do something just for fun. And both of those I think are great ways to do art. So that net up. And I would probably have these two, let's see if you can see that, not sure, going as well and they would all eventually grow together. You can see this student, this is very big, so it's hard to get the whole thing on camera. But once her green started coming together, then she started going around the whole entire set of three. And then once she got to touching the edge of the paper, she just let it go off. Some of these, let me show you the corner here. She got to the point where some of this was just little bits of color, but she let this design grow all the way off her paper, which made a really beautiful piece of artwork, I think. So, have fun trying out this version of our radial balance pictures.